Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Precious and welcome to our Grade 8 Mathematics class. Last meeting, we discussed the different laws of exponents. For today, we will be discussing on how to evaluate expressions with integral exponents. But before that, let's have first an activity. So, meron tayo ditong mga numbers and all we have to do is to write it into exponential form. Then, we will find the product. So, is, let's start with the number 1. So, we have here 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, we have 4 na 2. So, kapag sinulat natin yan into exponential form, then we have 2 to the 4th power or 2 raised to 4. Then, kapag um, kinuha natin yung kanyang product, we have 16. Because 2 times 2 is equal to 4, 4 times 2 is equal to 8, and 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Now, let's have the number 2. We have here 3 times 3 times 3. So, meron tayong tatlong 3s. So, kapag sinulat natin yan into exponential form, then we have 3 cubes. Then, um, kapag kinuha natin yung kanyang product, we have 27. Kasi 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then 9 times 3 is equal to 27. Now, let's have the number 3. So, we have here negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. Then, kapag sinulat natin yan into exponential form, then we have the quantity negative 5 cube. Then, kapag kinuha natin yung kanyang product, we have negative 125 kasi negative 5 times negative 5 will give us positive 25. Then, positive 25 times negative 5 will give us negative 125. Now, let's have the last one which is 8 times 8. Kapag sinulat natin yan into exponential form, then we have 8 square. Then, kapag kinuha natin yung product, magiging 64. Kasi 8 times 8 is equal to 64. So, the term 2 raised to 4 is called a power. If a number is in exponential form, the exponent represents how many times the base is used as a factor. For this time, let's write the following into exponential form. So, we have here the letter A. Identify how many times 4 is a factor. So, magiging ganyan yung kanyang itsura. The next is the letter B. So, we have here 5 na D. Then, we will identify how many times D is a factor. So, magiging ganyan yung kanyang itsura. Then, the letter C is we have here negative 6 na tatlo. So, kapag sinulat yan, magiging the quantity negative 6 cube. Then, the last one is, we have dalawang 5. Kaya, ang ating magiging exponential form will be 5 square. So, remember na kapag meron tayong negative na number, um, lagi nating lalagyan siya ng parenthesis. Now, let's evaluate the um, following. So, we have here the letter A, which is 3 to the 5th power. So, find the product of 5 threes. So, kapag sinulat natin yan, magiging um, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Imumultiply natin yung 3 ng 5 beses. Then, we have 243 as the product. Next, doon tayo sa letter B. So, find the product of 5 negative 3s. So, ngayon, um, isusulat natin siya in the form of magiging ganyan na siya. So, we have negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 and times negative 3. Then, yung ating magiging sagot will be negative 243. So, remember that always use parentheses to raise a negative number to a power. Next, let's have the letter C which is 7 to the 4th power. 
Then, let's find the product of 4 sevenths. So, kapag sinulat natin yan as a multiplication, then magiging 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Then, the product will be 2,401. Then, the letter D, we have negative 9 cube. Then, we will find the product of 3 negative 9s. Then, kapag sinulat natin yan as a multiplication, then we'll have negative 9 times negative 9 times negative 9. Then, we'll get um, negative 729. Pansin ninyo na kapag um, yung ating exponent ay odd numbers, then we have the negative as the base. Ibig sabihin, negative din yung ating magiging final na answer. Pero kapag ito naging even numbers, for example, we have here um, 4, then yung ating magiging sagot or yung ating magiging final na answer will be positive. So, remember that. Now, let's proceed in simplifying expressions containing powers. So, meron tayo dito, simplify the quantity 2 raised to 5 minus 3 square quantity plus 6 times 4. So, first thing to do is to evaluate the exponent. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung exponents natin dito ay 5 and 2. So, we will evaluate the exponent. So, 2 times 2 will give us 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Then, 16 times 2 will give us 32. Kaya siya naging 32. Then, next is the, um, we have 3 square will give us 9. Then, just copy muna yung ating um, 6 and 4. Then, after that, um, subtract inside the parenthesis. Kasi nga, inuuna natin yung ating parenthesis or nasa parenthesis. So, we'll have now 23 plus 6 times 4. So, 32 minus 9 will give us 20. 3. Then, after that, we'll have the multiplication from left to right. So, i-multiply lang natin itong 6 and 4. Then, we'll have 23 now plus 24. Then, after that, add from left to right. Then, we'll have 47. So, ang ginagawa natin dito, remember pa rin yung ating PEMDAS rule na yung P for parenthesis, E for the exponent, um, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for the subtraction. So, kailangan pa rin natin i-follow yon sa ating pagsosolve ng expressions. Let's have the another. So, we have here simplify um, 3 square minus 8 square plus 2 times 3. So, first thing to do is to evaluate the exponents. So, yung ating um, 3 square dito ay magiging 9. So, 3 times 3 will give us 9. Then, next we have 8 square. 8 times 8 will give us 64. Then, after that, we'll have to subtract inside the parenthesis. So, imaminus lang natin yung nasa loob ng ating parenthesis. Then, we'll have now negative 55 plus 2 times 3. Then, after that, we'll have to multiply from left to right. So, imumultiply natin yung 2 and 3. So, we'll have now negative 55 plus 6. Then, the next step is to add from left to right. So, i-add lang natin itong negative 55 and 6. So, we'll have now negative 49 as the final answer. So, finalo pa rin dito yung ating PEMDAS rule. Ngayon, let's evaluate 4 times the quantity 2 raised to negative 3 quantity square. So, first thing to do is to work with the expression inside the parenthesis by expressing 
it to a non-negative exponent. Kasi kung papansin ninyo, yung ating um, exponent dito ay negative. So, yung ating um, rule dyan, kapag meron tayong exponent na negative, ay kukunin natin yung kanyang reciprocal para maging positive yung ating exponent. Kaya meron tayo dito, um, 4 times the quantity 1 over 2 cube quantity square kasi kinuha lang natin yung um, reciprocal ng ating 2 raised to negative 3 kaya siya naging 1 over 2 cube para maging um, positive yung ating exponent dito na negative. Then after that we will evaluate the exponent. So, yan. Kaya siya naging 8 kasi nga 2 times 2 will give us 4. Then, 4 times 2 will give us 8. Then, after that, doon naman tayo sa exponent na ito. So, kapag um, 1 over 8 is square, so 1 times 1 will give us 1. Then, 8 times 8 will give us 64. Kaya siya naging 4 times 1 over 64. Then, after that, let's simplify the um, expression. So, kapag sinimplify natin yan, i-multiply lang natin yung ating both numerators and both denominators. So, dito, uh, meron tayong invisible na 1 dyan as the denominator. So, 4 times 1 will give us 4. Then, 1 times 64 will give us 64, then we'll have 4 all over 64, then pwede pa natin yung i-reduce into lowest term which is magiging 1 over 16 na lang yung ating final na answer. Let's have the last one which is to evaluate 2 raised to negative 2 plus 4 raised to negative 1. So kung papansin niyo yung ating mga exponents ay Negative. So, ang gagawin natin is to get the reciprocal para maging positive yung ating mga exponents. So, express to a non-negative exponent. So, magiging ganyan na siya kasi nga kinuha natin yung reciprocal ng ating um, 2 raised to negative 2. Kaya siya naging 1 all over by 2 raised to 2. Then, the next one is the we have... 4 raised to negative 1. Kapag kinuha natin yung reciprocal niya, magiging 1 all over by 4 raised to 1 or simply um, 4 na lang siya kasi nga 4 raised to 1 is simply 4. Then after that, we will simplify the um, expression. So, yan. Sinimplify lang yung ating exponent muna. Then, um, 2 raised to 2 will give us 4 kaya siya naging 1 fourth. Then, just copy yung 1 fourth dito. After that, perform the operation and reduce to lowest term. So, yung operation natin dyan is positive. So, kapag nag-add tayo ng the same denominator, we will just copy the numerator then copy the denominator. So, we'll have 2 fourth kasi 1 plus 1 will give us 2. Then, just copy yung denominator natin 4. Then, pwede pa natin i-reduce yan into lowest term magiging 1 half na lang siya. So, yun na yung ating magiging final na sagot. We have 1 half. So, ganun lang siya kadali. And that's how to evaluate expressions with integral exponents. I hope you understand it well. And that ends our lesson for today. For questions, clarifications, or queries, just comment down below and I will try my best to answer it correctly. God bless everyone!